Hey all, welcome to this week's favorite collection here at the CIO PCC. Today I'm going to look at character pins. Now these were traditionally called lapel pins. They come in a couple of different varieties. Nowadays we also refer to them a lot as backpack pins. Thanks to companies like Fig Pins here. This is a set of Simpsons up here at the top. These are really large. These are definitely no longer lapel pins. You have to attach these to something a lot bigger. These two at the top, Kang and Kodos, those, they only made 500 of each. I think these are the last ones we're going to see. Uh, they did these glow in the dark for ECCC as an exclusive. They did some other exclusives. This one here was a side exclusive. These are very large pins, three inches or so at least most of the time. And like I said, that King of Kodos might be the last pair we see. Because it looks like it's been several months and we haven't seen any discussion of any additional releases. That Witch Marge is also an exclusive. That was a Disney convention. That's the regular King and Kodos. And of course, there we are back at the top again. Now, like I said, these are really big. More backpack pins than they are lapel pins. But traditionally, they were smaller like this. These little itty bitty ones here are from Australia. These enamel pins are really nice. These have the the uh, straight uh, pin back on them that you would usually use a butterfly clutch or a rubber clutch to hold them in place. This set of 16, uh, like I said, this was an Australia release. You would get a little, uh, in the newspaper each week, they would have a coupon. You would take the coupon to the store and buy them for a couple of bucks each. Over here, we have some cool ones. Some more uh, cartoon, starting with a little Incredibles. But then everything else is The Simpsons. This one I love because it's that early 90s style of art. Simpsons movie. Now, these are uh, button pins with a, a true pin back on them. Slightly different than the lapel pins, those enamel pins I was showing you. These are also Australian. I think there's 24 in that set. That was another uh, promotion they did down there. And up here at the top, we have two that were uh, at the uh, Hollywood Bowl show that they did. I think those are the only two that they provided. So there's a whole bunch of Simpsons pins, but I, Simpsons aren't the only ones. I don't really understand why I collect pins. It's just another one of those things that over time I've always liked. Here's an ex some Disney stuff, some more cartoon stuff. This is kind of a catch-all stitch and, uh, and boo there. Those are actually uh, Disney pins. We've got some South Park since the South Park's right here and some Bob's Burgers and Rick and Morty. Finishing off with some Invader Zim up there at the top. I still keep an eye out for pins whenever possible. Um, it's not like I focus on them, but I ended up picking up a lot of them over time. Over here we have even some more cartoon stuff. Starting out down here at the bottom with some cow and chicken. There's a huge lapel pin. Warner Brothers. Scooby-Doo log here. Of course, from Ren and Stimpy. Creatus Maximus. Extra points if you know who that is. And up at the top, we got some Pinky and the Brain. Let's come down this way and talk Star Wars. You know there's a lot of Star Wars pins. The one here at the bottom is one of the Disney Store pins. But as we move up the, the uh, group here, we've got a couple that are pretty unusual. The uh, Boba Fett there in the center, that came with one of the gentle giant busts. Uh, the Master Replicas one, I think, came with one of the miniature um, lightsabers. As did the uh, Star Wars 30th. Both of those were, came with something special with Master Replicas, as I recall. Of course, there's some horror versions. Let's wander down around over this way to the horror section. Throughout, you'll see a few of these, like this Comic-Con 2017, where they were mixed in. Sideshow did a few pins for their stuff. Living Dead Dolls. That's a really nice enamel, large-scale enamel pin from Mezco. Another Mezco there, the pumpkin head. Frankenstein stamp from the, uh, the uh, post office. Another cool enamel pin. Buffy and Gomez. Speaking of Gomez, that's the next section down here that has a bunch of pins. In the science fiction and uh, miscellaneous categories. 
this group here, again, you can see we mixed in another one of those Comic-Con pins, but there's a Spawn pin, a couple of them. Entertainment Earth did these pins for a few of the Comic-Cons. And then we move up here into Star Trek. And these last three are particularly nice. These are from X06. They're full-size uh, badge replicas, emblem replicas, communicator replicas, however you want to look at it, depending on the show, from Star Trek. Over on this side, we have some more of the Mezcos, starting with that skull you saw earlier for Gomez. <coughs> oh, excuse me. And moving our way up through a few of uh, the other Rumble Society pins that they put out with various characters and figures. Oh, and there's even a Nightmare Before Christmas, and of course, that's a Disney Store pin. Let's go down around this way. I've actually got quite a few uh, DC ones I still have to put out. But over here, we do have some Batman the Animated Series ones. These were Warner Brothers. Some of the vehicles, starting there with the logo. Some of the characters from the show. A nice Warner Brothers set. Last but not least, we'll come down around here. Finish up with a few more of the DC as well as some of the uh, kind of over here in the uh, um, adventure section. So you'll see some older DC releases here. And then at the top, oh, by the way, I really like that one. That was a McDonald's promotion back with Batman Returns when they did the Happy Meal toys. We have a couple of uh, Pirates of the Caribbean and an Indiana Jones. And then that Batman at the very, Batman at the very top there. I had that as a kid. So there we have my current collection that's on display of pins, character pins. Quite a few of them. I'm still on the lookout for some that are around uh, other things around like uh, Bob's Burgers. I'm always on the lookout for those. Love the cartoon stuff. But uh, that's the favorite collection for this week. Another one of those collections I never really meant to be a collection. Make sure you subscribe. And on Friday, we'll do a fairly large uh, acquisition report. Have a great week.